Pisces, welcome to your January 2021 monthly. I'm so excited to be bringing these to you. Now, just to let you know, the monthly check-ins can be a smorgasbord of activity. It could be love, it could be career, it could be sexuality. I don't know, but that's why we're going to look. It's the monthly overview. Any, I, And for Sag, I saw a combination of the two, okay? So yeah, I expect to see different points of reference, yeah? The idea is to get a little taste for the month. Yes, January 2021. No, we don't want 2020, baby. That's done. No, we want 2021. <laughs> Pisces is like, yeah, no, sir. It's like 2021. I hear you. All right, let's do this. Show me what I need to see, please. For Pisces. Mm. January 2021. What's going on for Pisces, please? Show me what I need to see, please. For Pisces. January 2021. You will note that these will likely go faster, as they should. They're not nearly as complex as the general love readings. Uh, but that's not to say... I won't see those personal aspects and then it will slow down. But for the most part, they should go faster. What's going on for Pisces, please? Show me that Piscean energy for January 2021. What's going on, man? It's a little disjointed. What's going on with your energy? It's a little disjointed. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? What's the current energy, please, for Pisces? Show me that current energy, please. January 2021. Show me that current energy. Okay. Death. Let me know if you're dealing with the Scorpio. Okay. Something ended. Possibly transformative. I don't assume... Well, it has to be transformative by default. But with one comes the other. With an ending comes a beginning. Okay, many of us closed out cycles because of 2021. This could be intended on your part. I've ended something that no longer serves me. It could be a peaceful... You know, with the acceptance of an ending. Not just accepting it, but prompting it is usually for the better. Okay, so if you ended something, please know it served a purpose. If something ended in your life without you prompting it, again, it serves a purpose. Even if it hurts, especially if it hurts. Okay, so if you did experience physical loss in the real world, I am sorry. I hate to, to kick it off that way, but given we are entering 2021, I'm not going to be surprised if we open up with a lot of transformative cycles. A lot of people are consciously and willfully choosing to end things now and not carry it into the new year. Makes perfect sense. So around February, I'm going to see a spike of romantic interest and love and that kind of thing. At the start of the year, the world, death, the tower, you know, getting rid of, cycling out all the old shit. What is important at this time for Pisces? What is important at this time for Pisces? What is important at this time for Pisces? What is important at this time for Pisces during January 20? King, Knight of Wands, excuse me, the Knight of Wands. See, I told you, some of y'all ended some stupid shit so you could start something new. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so what is important is that you go back out there and live life. Knight of Wands. This is what irritates me in terror when I see the Knight. Oh, it's a fuck boy. Oh, it's in and out player energy. No, it's the first inclination to get out there and live life after something has ended. It's your first call to get back out there and be part of the world, to feel the light and the life, to live in the moment, in the here and now. The Knight of Wands serves a purpose. He doesn't just represent fuckboy and tarot. That's not exactly how tarot started out with Knight of Wands. Let's make the Knight of Wands a fuckboy. No. <laughs> okay? This is the person who lives in the here and now, in the moment. Okay? I'm telling you, something ended and you are recovering and you go back out. This is what you need to keep in mind. Okay, yeah, I see people go through play periods all the time. It's also, too, part of the healing process. That's what we call rebound energy. It serves a purpose. It's not without measure or without reason, okay? What are the fears? What are the fears? What are the fears? What are Pisces' fears? What are the fears, please? Fear. Fear is your fear, which is actually quite smart. You fear fear. You fear mental anxiety. You fear the fear itself. I'm looking at a very self-empowered, self-aware Pisces. Good for you. <sighs> Better to fear fear than something specific. Unless, of course, you can't get out of your head about it. Then that's not helpful. But uh, it's quite reasonable to fear fear in itself. Right now I'm seeing a Pisces who doesn't want to fear anything. I think you want to challenge. I think you want to go out into the world. That's what I think. What is supporting you? What is supporting Pisces? Uh... You already have a sense of growth and or stability behind you. In other words, you already have a support system in place. Okay. There are people in your life who give you stability, a sense of roots. Okay. You always know that these are the people that you can go to when you need to. 
What supports you is your natural system of roots, which you have already established, family, friends, okay, even work. What are the obstacles, please? What are the obstacles that Pisces faces at this time? What are the obstacles, please, that Pisces may face? What are the obstacles? Page of Swords, don't get stuck watching. Go out there and live life. Live life, honey. Live life. Your inclination to go out there and live life is correct. What is incorrect is if you stay here stuck in this mental energy and all you do is watch other people. Don't live through the people, honey. You will never be happy. What's the future outcome, please? What's the future outcome, please? What is the future outcome, please, for Pisces? Seven of Wands. Better. Defending yourself. Okay, so Seven of Wands isn't just about being defensive and pushing away. It's also knowing what's worth fighting for, i.e. yourself. You are fighting for yourself. You're going to go through this period where you're going to close off. You need to trust that instinct. You go out into the world and present your energy, but you don't overwhelmingly put it in one place. You will, in future, be defensive of yourself. So that tells me there got to be a point where... I feel like you got to a point somewhere in life where somebody else was telling you how to live, how to feel, how to be, and you eschewed that. That period's over. That's coming across rather strongly. Eight, I'm sorry, the underlying energy is the Eight of Pentacles. This is often what people do in order to recover so that they throw themselves into what they know. They practice their skill repetitiously. Okay, this is part of the recovery process as well. Honey, I'm seeing a Pisces who's going through some serious recovery and you're okay with that. You are okay with that. You will protect yourself. I, am, I do believe you came out of something rather serious and your particular sense of mental... Mentality, your emotionality, your passion was always told what to do, what to do, and how to do it. That's it's really, it's coming across really strongly. I don't know if you ended this thing or if they ended it with you, but given the direction of your energy and what it is that you want to do and how you want to protect yourself, I'm going to go and dig. I guess it was you. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Pisces. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Pisces. Show me death. The current energies. You're working through your transformative energy, yes? It serves a purpose. You have to trust in that. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. What is death? Okay. You turned your back on trying to make something work. It was not proving fruitful. It's not to say you didn't try, but it wasn't working either. The manifestation card has us back to the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever, and this is a dual card, by the way. So this is not singular energy. This is two people. Whatever it is that you were trying to make work, uh, somebody called it dead. Okay? It wasn't without effort. But the energies were not going in the correct direction. Somebody was trying, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess, more than the other to make something work. And then it's somebody realized one day, you're not putting into me nearly as much as I'm putting into you. Hence, death. Somebody didn't force the issue. They didn't try to make it work. They didn't try to make it fit. They simply accepted the fact that this is not working despite my efforts. Somebody had better efforts than the other person. So I'm not going to say it was our best efforts. Somebody had better efforts. Okay. Um, the manifestation was going in the wrong direction for at least one person. Okay. So clearly it was something that ended. What is important to you at this time? Recover, baby. Recover. Get back out there and live life. Just do so safely. Okay. I get the old, how you go out and date in a pandemic. Honey, you wear masks and use hand sanitizers. So that's it. Okay? You reconnect. There's 8 billion people on this planet. Get creative. <laughs> okay? Well, yes, you can date online. And so you are. Look at you. As I said that, the page of wands and the three of coin. You are connecting with people in a casual, uncommitted way. Again, this is part of the recovery process. All right? You're a big boy. You're a big girl. You can figure it out. All right. But yes, you're going to connect with people in a small forms of passionate way. In other words, you're going to go through a recovery period, i.e. rebound energy. I see a Pisces who dedicated their energy to something that would not work and it was not without effort. Somebody was trying harder than the other. Death. Okay. Um, but yeah, your energy goes back out there. You need to trust that. You need to trust that. Your willingness to reconnect with people. Okay. In a way that is easy, light, non-committal. So you can rediscover yourself. That's the purpose. Okay? Now, what are the fears? The Nine of Swords. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. Yeah, you wonder, you fear in the back of your mind, will I ever have the long term? I got so close. 
right? I got so close with that fucking Eight of Pentacles. I wanted the Ten of Pentacles. I wanted to offer him or her the Ten of Pentacles, but they weren't mad at somebody wasn't trying hard enough. Let's just summarize that. But will I ever have it though? Will I ever have it? This is your fear. Will I ever have it? I don't want to play for the rest of my life. You're going through a rebound period. This is normal. Uh, normal. Okay, I, I have to stress that word because people really have a hard time understanding that that's part of the healing process. Yes, it fucking is. Okay. But yeah, you want the real thing. You don't want to juggle options indefinitely. Yeah, that's not who you are. I get that, Pisces. That is not who you are. You want the long term. You want the real deal. I totally hear you, baby. I hear you. But please do not deny yourself this opportunity to reconnect with people in order to heal yourself. Okay. But yeah, you want to know if you will ever have the long term. And I completely understand because you got so fucking close. But in the meantime, continue to put your boundaries up, respect yourself, and make sure you understand over here that what it is you want versus what it is you do not so you can protect yourself and other people. Okay. Be very clear about your intentions and your actions, yes? Uh, what is supporting you? The Seven of Pentacles. You already have roots, family, and friends that keep you grounded, that you can go back to when you need advice, when you need someone to talk to. This is what's supporting you. I'm looking at a Pisces who has roots, okay? You have family and friends that can keep you uh, healthy and strong and informed. You always have a place to go. You always have a home to go to. That's who I'm speaking to. So that seven, okay? Yeah. You're keeping an eye out, okay? You're actively communicating, learning. As I said, you have family and friends that you learn from, okay? You grow with your family and friends. You communicate with them often. You also learn from them. That's lovely. Because the Page of Swords, he's associated with spying, but he's also be associated with being shut the fuck up. There's a reason why he's spying. It's because his job is to listen and learn, so that way he can grow as a person. So the more you learn, the better you can communicate and move forward with your life. This is what your family and friends do for you lovely. Your obstacles, page of swords. Now, this is page of swords in a different context. What is your obstacle, please? Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? See? Stop. Stop watching them, Pisces. Also Scorpio energy. Five of cups. This is Scorpio's card. Stop watching them. I know this was substantial, and I see that one or both of you put your damnedest into this. Don't watch them. It's not worth it. Okay. Show me the Seven of Wands, please. Oh, God. Oh, see, there you go, baby. The Fool and Ace of Wands energy. You're putting off fire here towards the end. Your future outcome, you will continue to guard yourself. Okay. But I see you opening your heart space back up. Empress tried to come out. Okay. Dual card of Libra Taurus. Now, um, <clears throat> continue to draw boundaries. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that there was a boundary issue back here as much as you tried to work on it. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that you exuded much more than the other person was. I see the manifestation going in the wrong direction. Okay. So in that, when we do that, we tend to lose ourselves. Well, what other boundary can I erase so I can make you feel better? Mm -mm. Honey, there's not enough boundaries in the world that you can erase to make somebody else feel better or do their part. In fact, the more you dismantle your own boundaries, the more that person will try to take from you. That way they, they themselves don't have to try. I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that that's what happened here. Uh, you're going to continue to rediscover self. Boundaries. Firm ones, seven of wands, you are protecting yourself. It's not about just pushing away, it's also protecting the self, which you are doing. You will continue, you're starting to open up your heart space again. It's still coming from a point of new passion, inspiration, new direction, okay? But you're opening it up again, slowly but surely. What's going to help you is if you understand your obstacles are is that you're watching your old heartbreak, five of cups, doesn't have to be Scorpio, but there you go. Um, don't watch them if you can help it, okay? Let make the process easier. Oh, the underlying eight of coin. We immerse ourselves into what we know, what is practical, what is grounding, what is stable, in order to better ourselves and to shore up our beliefs and our stability. Show me that eight of pentacles, please. Show me that eight of pentacles, please. Yeah. It's so. Look at the way that mismatched energies. Underlying. Yes, you're trying to work on bettering yourself. Yes, you still feel abandoned. Your conflict is real. In other words, you're healing. This is not going to be an overnight process. One part of you is fine, and you're practical, and you're grounded. The other part says, I feel fucked. 
please know the better part of you is doing okay. Your heart space will open up again. Okay? Okay. Yeah, there's romance in you. I know. Pisces, you're very romantic. All right? Okay, Pisces, please know overall it's gorgeous. And if you went through anything, I, and it looks like you did, you know, I am sorry, but there are better things waiting for you. Okay? All right, Pisces. I hope this message finds you well. Comment as you see fit. Like, share, subscribe as you see fit. Take care. Be well.